Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Griffin and welcome back to another Canadian online stockbroker review video. So today we're going to be looking at TD Direct Investing. This is an online stock brokerage that I've used quite a bit over the last year or so and I thought it'd be pertinent to make a comprehensive video about the setup and then the different features available within TD Direct Investing. So we're going to be looking at what type of accounts you can open, the different fees and commission structures, and then we're also going to be looking at a general overview of the trading platform in itself, what features are available, and then finally the pros and cons based on my personal experience. Now, I have made a couple other review videos on my channel for different online stockbrokers, such as, for example, Well Simple Trade, Milo, and then a high level overview of some of the larger online stockbrokers to choose from. But TD Direct Investing is the stockbroker that I've used the most over the last year and a half, and I'll explain why that is later on in the video. But I really wanted to give you guys my perspective about the platform's features, what I like about it and dislike about it, and then also how you can start setting up your own account. So, on that note, let's get right into the application process. And account opening. So first off, if you want to open a TD web broker account but aren't already a TD client so you don't have a checking or savings account with them, you can do so by booking an appointment at your local branch where you'll go in, you're going to talk to an advisor and then you can open up an account and they're going to set up everything for the online part of the web broker application. Otherwise, you can go apply for different account openings straight from their website by going to login, web broker and then register. From this point on, you're presented with a variety of different account types that you can open, some of which you can apply for directly online and then others you're going to have to book an appointment with an advisor in order to open those accounts. Now this actually brings me to my next point, which is what actual account types can you open with TD Direct Investing? With TD being one of the largest banks in Canada, they naturally offer most of the regular account types that you would expect. Looking over this page right here, you can see that TD offers margin accounts, cash accounts, TFSA, RRSP, RESP, and a variety of others. Now for the sake of the length of this video, I won't go into detail about the technicalities of each one of these accounts, but you can check out my other videos on the channel where we dive into say the TFSA and the RRSP. All right, so for the sake of this example, let's apply for a TFSA account. You're gonna start by clicking the apply now button and from here, you're gonna need to fill out an application, a couple different forms such as the TD Waterhouse service agreement, statement of disclosure of rates, and then a couple other standard forms. This really shouldn't take you more than 10 to 15 minutes to complete and once you're done with that, you have to confirm your identity by answering some questions related to your credit bureau profile, which includes uploading a valid government issued ID and providing your SIN number. The next step, and we're almost done here, is answering some screening questions related to your personal finances and this is really just to give TD an idea of your income level and experience as an investor so they can provide you with some assistance. Now considering that every step of the application process goes smoothly, you should have your web broker account up and running within a day or so. After everything is set up and complete, you're going to be able to log into your account where you're going to be presented with this dashboard. But before we go into the features and technicalities of the trading platform, let's talk about the fees and commissions that TD takes on trades. TD Direct Investing has pretty straightforward trading fees that are separated into standard rates and then active trader rates depending on your trading volume. If you make less than 150 trades per quarter, you're looking at $9.99 flat fee for any Canadian and US stock trades. When it comes to options, Canadians and US options come with a $9.99 plus $1.25 per contract rate. If you're considered an active trader, so above 150 trades per quarter, you're going to fall into the $7 per trade category or $7 plus $1.25 per contract trade. Now they do also offer some commission free investment products such as mutual funds, fixed income investments such as say bonds and strip coupons and they also do not take any commissions on IPOs. Another important point I'd like to mention here is the quarterly custody fee of $25. However, you can waive this quarterly fee if your account meets one of the following conditions which you should be able to achieve quite easily. The different options for waiving this $25 quarterly fee is by making at least two commission generating trades within six months, having a TD Direct Investing registered account. And then the last option is if you enroll yourself in a pre-authorized contribution plan of $100 per month or more. Great, so now that we've looked at the fees and commissions, let's get back into the dashboard. All right, so if you're using TD Web Broker in August of 2019, this is what Web Broker looks like when you first log into it. So you're going to be presented with the markets overview page and I know it can look somewhat 
like there's a lot going on but rest assured that at the end of the video uh, you're going to understand everything about this so let's start off at the top right here where we have five different icons starting with the one on the right which is watch list so watch lists are pretty straightforward it's basically a place where you can uh, put group different stocks together based on certain personal criteria that you have for them so for example i have a list here that's just different etfs most of them being vanguard actually no a couple of them are iShares. but regardless i just made these pretty much to show you guys what a watch list is and this allows you to just group different stocks together and have a nice uh, high level visual of uh, what those stocks are performing like the next category is going to be order status. So order status, um, I currently don't have any open orders uh, because most of the time uh, when I'll do an order, I usually just purchase at market value, which I'll show you guys all about soon. But if I were, for example, to put an order out that I wanted to be fulfilled based at a certain price and it wasn't yet filled, um, then it would show up right here. So you have your active and your historical orders. And so, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. You can also filter through your different accounts here. Uh, so with TD Direct Investing, I actually have, uh, I only have two TFSA accounts, one in USD and then one in Canadian. Uh, if you had, for example, cash or margin accounts, you can filter uh, by those ones as well and see the different orders for each one. So the next icon here, which is buy and sell, is really where you're probably gonna spend most of your time or you're gonna use this feature the most. Um, and it's pretty straightforward here. You can filter through stocks and ETFs, different options, strategies, or mutual funds. Um, for the sake of this example, we're just gonna stick with stock and ETF. So uh, let's say we wanted to search up Facebook. It's gonna show you Facebook Incorporated right here. So you can click. And on the right, it's gonna show you kind of a high level overview of some of the different fundamental metrics for this stock. So for example, the uh, tickers up here, you have your current price and then the fluctuation, pretty sure that's in the last day. We have the bid price and the ask price. So the bid price is pretty much what people are wanting to buy the stock at. And then the ask price is what people are trying to sell it at. The uh, We also have the open, high, low in the last day and the volume in the last day. So let's say I wanted to buy 10 shares of Facebook. We'll put it into quantity right here. Uh, price type, we can either buy it at market, which most of the time is going to be at the ask price, but we can also put limits here. So for example, um, if we looked at the high and the low was this in the last day and I want to buy it at 180, let's say $4, I can put it at 184 limit, which is good for either today or I can put specific dates and time. So I, if today is uh, August 12th, so I could put it available for one week. So um, all the way up to one week from today, this order would be valid. So 10 shares at 184. And if it doesn't get fulfilled right away, it would go into the open orders tab that we just looked at previously. So once again, you can choose your different accounts here, which one you want to be purchasing or selling uh, this stalker ETF in. Uh, yeah, again, you can put sell here. And then right up here, this is gonna show you the available funds to trade with. Currently, I only have like $88 in cash in this account because pretty much everything is invested right now. And that's about it. After that, you can preview the order and fulfill the order. You can print it as well and uh, just a couple other things. We're gonna pretty much skip over these ones because they're not useful if you're a new investor. Advanced Dashboard, I'm pretty sure it costs like $30 a month and just gives you really technical analysis tools that you won't be needing. So let's now look at these six different tabs up here, starting with these two that we're not really gonna go over. Learn is pretty much just a place where you can see webinars offered by TD and different uh, information that they offer you to help you with investing. Then we have trading here, where it's kind of the same as this tab right here. So you can buy and sell all these different securities, uh, order status, all that pretty much just went over it already. Then the research tab is a bit more interesting. So we can have an overview of different markets or we can actually specifically look at different uh, investment products. So let's look at stocks, for example, if we click on that. All right, so we're first presented with Toronto Dominion Bank here. 
uh, but you can also search different ones. So we'll click on Tesla and we're on the overview tab here. So the overview tab is going to give you once again, a high level overview of all of the information related to this stock or ETF. So we have like a chart here, you can filter month, year, compare it to S and P 500, compare it to the NASDAQ, uh, fun stuff like that. Down here, we have information related to recent news for this stock today, yesterday. And then right down here, we can compare it to different uh, auto and truck manufacturers in that industry. So if I was in the, if I was looking at say TD, it would compare it to other industry peers, such as for example, Royal Bank, um, CIBC, stuff like that. So once again, just pretty much a high level overview. We have fundamentals here, but if you really want to look at them more in detail, you're going to want to click onto one of the tabs in particular. So for example, the chart tab, you can pretty much just filter here in more detail, look at different chart controls, candlestick, let's say. So really just a ton of different information and tools here that you can use to analyze stocks. You can go and look at the news, the fundamentals of this actual company more in detail, you know, earnings, book value, cash flow, PE ratios, gross margins, and a bunch of really interesting stuff that you're going to want to use to evaluate a stock. Under the tab earnings here is where you can see quarterly and annual earnings of the company. As you can see here, Tesla consistently loses money pretty much year after year. Uh, but again, just more detailed information that you can look at. We then have the reports tab where you can look at different reports like the Morningstar analysis report, in company insider report. They have these for pretty much every company that you can uh, search for on the platform. Really interesting stuff. We're not going to go into it today though. Then finally technicals, which is going to show you different technical analysis information based on the filtering of time frame. So if we look at say the short term two to six weeks in the past here, uh, a bunch of information related to technical insights, they provide a variety of them. So if you're not an expert, you can basically uh, assess what's going on here because they provide you with uh, technical insight. So that's pretty much it. You can add it to your watch list. And uh, yeah, other than that, the account section here, uh, your balances, holding activity, performance, pretty much like any other stockbroker, you're going to be able to look at a broad overview or even more granular uh, information related to your holdings, the performance of each one over time, and you can really drill down. And finally, the home tab here, uh, I'll click on it, but I'm going to blur pretty much most of the stuff is a dashboard that presents you uh, with all your stocks or ETFs here, the performance over the last day, the price and the value of your portfolio. Starting with the pros for TD Direct Investing, the first notable one for me is if you're already a TD client, so if you have say a checking or a savings account, what I really like about opening up your trading account with them is that within the mobile application, you're gonna have a seamless integration between your regular accounts and your trading account. So transferring funds between say your TD checking account and your TD investment account is really quick compared to say if you were using a third party broker where you're gonna be sending money and that can take all the way up to three, four or five business days. The second thing that I really like about TD Direct Investing is the entire dashboard and availability of data for each and every stock or ETF that you're looking to purchase. When it comes to the cons of TD Direct Investing, there definitely are some and the first one for me is the high commission fees for trading stocks and ETFs of $9.99 per trade. This high commission fee does have a significant impact on your returns because if you purchase say $1,000 worth of a certain stock, that represents 1% of the buy. Fast forward to when you want to sell that position, that's another $9.99 fee, bringing up one trade to $20 in fees. So this really discourages quick buys and sells. And personally, as mainly an ETF investor, I try to purchase minimum orders of at least $1,000, but sometimes this can be really inconvenient if I want to just purchase one or two different stocks or ETFs. Otherwise, if you were to purchase, say, one stock of TD Bank, which currently trades at around $74, you're looking at more than 10% of the purchase price in fees, which is really foolish. 
So to summarize the video here, I've been using TD Direct Investing for the better part of a year and a half. And for the most part, I've enjoyed my experience. I like their online platform as well as the mobile application, but I would recommend using TD Direct Investing pretty much only if you are already a client and have other accounts with them. Reason being is that you can easily transfer funds in between your accounts. That's really the primary reason why I use it. Otherwise, I would probably look into different platforms such as say Well Simple Trade or uh, Quest Trade, which have lower commissions because $9.99 per trade is really high, uh, especially considering the fact that other platforms offer free ETF trades, which should be a staple part of your portfolio in my opinion. And once again, if you wanna learn more about ETF trading, you can look at my video right here where we go over ETF investing for beginners. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some value. If it did, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We talk here about personal finance, saving, investing, and a ton of other business topics. So if that interests you, subscribe to the channel and on that note I'll see you soon.